Super EVC XF 23mm 1.4 RLM WR. And then there's a circle with a thing on it. It says 58. So if you're confused about whatever your lens says in the front, uh, we'll talk about that and we'll go over the meaning of the various markings on your lens. But first, let me go get a coffee. All right, so let's talk about the meaning behind the different markings in the front of your lens. All right, so let's start with XC. So the XC lenses are entry level lenses. Then we have XF, which are professional level lenses. PZ means power zoom, so that means that instead of having a lens that mechanically zooms in and out, you will have a motor inside, and then when you rotate the zoom ring, the motor will activate and then zoom in or out. The R stands for aperture ring, so lenses that have the R marking do have an aperture ring on them, so that's how you change your aperture. LM means linear motor, so lenses that have linear motors have very fast, accurate, and silent autofocus. OIS means optical image stabilization, so that will help you whenever you want to do a slower exposure or if you want to shoot some video, for example, this will help you stabilize your image. WR means weather resistant. APD means apodization, meaning that the lens has an apodization filter inside which will help isolate the background from your subject and just blur out even more in the corner of the lens and then if you have bokeh balls in the back they will be even smoother as well macro obviously means that it is a macro lens and then tc stands for teleconverter super ebc is a coating and then ebc means electron beam coating and it indicates that the lens has multi-layered anti-reflective coating and then we also have nano gi which is a coating as well and it is an evolution of the super ebc coating and the gi stands for gradient index and then lastly we have that circle with the line in it that means diameter and then the number next to it indicates the diameter of the lens filter that will go onto your lens. All right, so I hope that helps understanding the markings and the letters and the meaning of everything in front of your lens. And if you like content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We would appreciate it.